is. But does it help companies to demand employees return to office? There is a cognitive bias called the proximity bias, a dangerous judgment error where managers and others perceive that those who are near them are more valuable. But does it help companies to demand employees return to office? The more time you spend working remotely, the more time you'll have to work more productively. In a recent poll, Fortune Forum found workers who are in cubicles Monday through Friday say they are much less satisfied with their job compared with peers with more flexible arrangements. They found that the people who were in the office had 35% worse retention. You get a lot of your employees, a lot more employees leaving if they are forced to come to the office. And that the people who are coming in who were working more time remotely, they had higher productivity. According to Bloomberg, 46% of white collar U.S. workers have some sort of hybrid work schedule. Apple CEO Tim Cook telling employees they are expected to be in the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays, with teams choosing a third day that works best for them. Meanwhile, one major tech company has a different take. Meta adopted a work from anywhere policy. Still, the idea of water cooler talks and impromptu meetings entices employers, but demand for labor is at a high, so workers have the leverage here, Marty. Right, and so you've got the productivity debate, but you also have like worker happiness, right? Are you gonna be more productive if you are happy in wherever work environment suits you best? Um, it's different for everybody. Yeah, and people pay more attention to mental health now. Right, a little work-life balance too. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Sloan. Still to come here on Prime.